Good evening, Kat. How are you? I'm well. Oh, good cool. evening. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Right. What's the framework? What do you? I haven't been on here for so long. What do I do? Oh, you can do whatever you like here. Yeah. I feel like but, everyone should just unmute. And um, do you do a little intro -y thing, or is it chill? Well, we can do, we can we can do an intro, or we can just chill for the for the hour and. Uh, yeah. Well, I imagine everyone on here is probably on here for a reason. I reckon we should ask them. <laughs> everyone yeah. just, and then the knots in their stomachs just flipped a little bit. <laughs> yeah, un unmute yourself and, and ask questions if you like. Chat to Kat. Yeah, how about, I'm going to, hang on, here we go. Oh, yes, someone jumped out. Who's that? Helena. Hey, Kat, Helena. I hey. actually you at Momentum Day. So, yes, um, I recognise you. How are yes. you? Good, thanks. Um, so me and my fiance Grant are actually both on this call, but we're currently in different towns, so that's oh, why we're together. Oh, so. <laughs> so awesome. He's in one of our houses, and I'm in the other. Um, we work away from each other during the week, which is pretty tough, but we're mm. doing this together. And um, yeah, so I basically uh, started with SFM from Momentum Day. Grant started a couple of months oh. earlier, so. Yeah, I just sort of got on board after that event and you were someone who I found, as you said earlier, very inspirational and yeah. now you've got your fame status, so <laughs> that's all good. We'll take that gracefully. Thank you. <laughs> um, basically, I, I'm on this call tonight because I was really excited that you're on it. Um, and oh. just like you, I've had a huge day. Um, I've done yeah. 10 hours at my normal job and then um, I've actually driven about 250 kilometres this afternoon and done a clean of our house that we're trying to sell so yeah okay. I'm a bit sick but I'm here <laughs> showing up that's the stuff yeah. <laughs> so where do you guys live or what or there's two places obviously sometimes <laughs> yeah, so um we've what? just recently moved back to Wagga Wagga in New South Wales oh, so cool. yeah, between uh, Melbourne and Sydney yeah and, Wagga. yeah and um during the week yeah, cool. I, um, during the week I live in Cabramurra, which is the highest town in Australia. It's very, very remote in the Snowy Mountains. And mm. um, it's currently in Tumut, which is about an hour from Wagga. So that's where our other house is. And we've moved from there about, when did we move? On Australia Day, we moved back to Wagga. So, wow. Yeah. You guys are probably the first, the closest people that I've been like that I've met in the community then like when you say tumor like if I drive to Canberra I'm like there's tumor signs that's just over there I mean yeah, right. it's a big country it's so it's still it's a car it's, it's the snowies you know I'm, I'm only an hour and a half from Jindabyne that's the oh, start really? of the snowies yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh that's awesome oh you guys are local we are the company I currently work for our head office is in Cooma so yeah right oh that's yeah. awesome Oh, very cool. And so you guys are literally just brand new, like, well, two months earlier, Grant, but even so. So when was that? When did, so just two months before Momentum Day that you guys signed up? Uh, it was August for me. Okay. Uh, that we got into it, but we sort of, yeah, didn't really get hooked into it as much as we should have probably until, yeah, a couple of months before Momentum Day. And, yeah. Uh, Momentum Day, we went platinum and we're going to go nice. black. But we just got to get there. Got to get some yeah. houses. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, good. Awesome. Momentum Day really did did its job. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I know. They're amazing events. I wish we could have more Momentum Days, eh? <laughs> yeah. It's true. I guess when you, um, yeah, you will. You will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think in, I think I, well, once you do, once you are platinum, then you can go to the different platinum events around the globe, depending on, yeah obviously your situation but that is what I did in the first my, I'm really bad at like my timeline but like it quite quickly after I started I had the Sydney one and then I went to New York and then um something else after that I can't back, remember now back to Melbourne was it or did you no, do another one that year something in between it wasn't but maybe it was a black event Anyway, it's yeah, there was, there was a black event in that year, I think. I feel like that might be a lie. Yeah. There was something else, though, in between there. And oh. so 
so and and just like be, one of the biggest things I find and still find to this day is and they say it all the time and so that sounds really lame but like minds keeping it surrounded by like minds um I I still struggle with it a lot like after coming back from momentum day I live in like in a really small town and you come home and everyone's got their the same sort of money mindset and your family is still exactly the same and you're growing exponentially and it's really that that can be a real that's something so it's something to really remember if you can get to them get on the calls get on the like get amongst it because yeah that and that never goes away it, it does get easier to be fair it's kind but of yeah. funny for us to sit back and watch what other people say um, even like not even like we, we tell them about SFM and all that and I know like my family probably in particular just sit there and go oh yeah it's just like a, a bit of a fad you'll get through it um, oh, yeah. like, I have absolutely no idea about it obviously and whatever it doesn't bother me at all but it's funny yeah. listening to the conversation especially in regards to money and working yeah. for money and saving money and just that unbelievable um, employee mindset and it's really, it's really funny to watch because I know now that I've sort of been, become a little bit more aware of, of um, you know, not working for money and actually trying to create something of actual value, um, it's, it's kind of funny to sit back and watch. I know that's how I used to think a couple yeah. of years ago. Um, it's, taken me, it's taken me probably two and a half years of, like, reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad and, and like, studying Bob Proctor and all these sorts of people Mm -hmm. um, until before I came across SFM. Um, so I sort of knew that we were building up to something. Um, and in that time, yeah, I've, I've watched what other people say and all this stuff about trying to get out of debt and save money and retire and all this crap. And it's, it's yeah, it's kind of funny to sit back and watch, eh? It's, it's yeah. good to be taking action, you know, to finally get out of it we're not at the point yet, yet where it's like hell yeah look at us look what we're doing and people are going to actually look up and listen but we're getting closer to that every day yes yes and every stage has its challenges mm. it's um yeah no it's 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 i mean the best thing that you're probably saying there is that you're noticing because yeah. the more you notice the more <laughs> you're you're leveling up and your mindset and you can, yeah. you know, and not to, you know, not to say, oh, well, then you're looking down on people, but <laughs> you'll, come up, you'll be like, oh, my God. Oh, it just happened to me the other day. I said to someone, oh, yeah, I'm thinking of taking the kids to Bali for, for like, mid-year holidays. They get three weeks off. And whoever I was with was like, oh, oh, oh just off to Bali. Oh, oh. <laughs> and I was like, and I literally hadn't even considered what their reaction would be. I was just like, yeah, like. Why not? Like, I don't, it was just normal for me. And then it makes you go, oh, I've actually really shifted something. And so in those moments, instead of I used to feel like, oh, God, yeah, right, I have to be careful of people's feelings. Whereas now I just, I more like, sort of congratulate myself. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've shifted that stuff. That's, mm -hmm. that's good for me. Awesome. <laughs> so... So the, that tweak in the mindset too really helps me move even even further because if you're being careful of your, of what everyone else thinks all the time, that's no good. No, and then you you kind of um, get yourself in the habit of worrying all the time about what other people think, and it's super counterproductive. I think. Yeah. Like it, it's good to like I hear people talk about stuff all the time, and I never sit there and argue with it. People like you, you really. Um, you're really hitting people's core values hard, especially when you talk about finance and money and what you do for a living and all that sort of stuff. And when I say to people, look, we're going to be financially free before the age of 30 and we're not going to have a job. And like the other day, I remember talking to, uh, oh, I was mum. who yeah. Mum and dad are actually, actually really supportive of us most of the things we do. I know they sort of take a back seat and just go, uh, oh, we'll just see what happens, you know, right and out. <laughs> but I remember we actually got our honeymoon in September, Helena and I, yeah. uh, October. And um, that actually falls at a really busy time at work for me. It's a big shutdown that we got. Yeah. And, like, it's, like, the biggest rule ever to not take time off in that time. And I 
said to mum, I said, oh, I'll, I'll probably have to just quit my job, I think, to go on this honeymoon. And I knew she, she just nearly hit the floor. I <laughs> couldn't believe I even said those words. Um, obviously, by that point in time, we're hoping to have a bit of cash flow. Um, yeah. But as a bit of a side note to that story, I actually walked in to work, not worried about it the other day, and just said, look, this is when the time I need off. And I don't know how it sort of panned out, but they just went, well, what can you do at Johnny Moon? No worries, we'll let you have it off. So <laughs> I know I've got the option, but I'm really hoping to not be there by then anyway. But <laughs> yeah. But yeah. it was just funny. It was just funny just to see Mum's reaction. Like I know she's had yeah. her job now. Like oh, she should have retired this year, but she didn't in the end. But she's been working there for um, probably about thirteen years in the same yeah. place. So mm-hmm. I think for someone to sit there and say to her like that, oh, no, I'll just quit my job if I can't get the time yeah. off. It oh, was just yeah. like massive for her. <laughs> yes, she would be thinking, "You naughty boy." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, or to think, you know, that is, like you say, that's totally confronting her belief system. Oh, it is. It is. That's how she grew up and that's how, you know, the fact that you've got enough, you're seeing enough to be able to break out of that and even see that that's a thing is brilliant. Like, I I just, I reckon the hard work from, the hard work is done when you can, when you start noticing stuff like that. It's, um, the only thing now is time and that's... I love how I quote the boys because I don't mean to, but it really is true. Like whoever, someone said that, didn't they, Robbie? Yeah. The only thing between you and me is time. And and Jay Jay says that a bit, I think. I think it might be between... um, Jay or Stuart. Jay and Satori Prime, maybe Jay said that to the guy once or something. But it makes so much sense. It's absolutely true. Like you're on the path now. You can't jump off. Like there's not you're you've opened your mind. You can't shut it again. It's too late for you. No, it's like, um, <laughs> and sometimes you will want to jump yeah. off, and you, yeah. but it's over. And so and so now it is just a snowball. Yeah. It's very exciting, but yeah, also quite terrifying at times. <laughs> yeah, hey, I don't know. Sometimes because I don't know. We go. We like we built this house that I'm in right now, and we completely yeah. renovated the one that Helena's in right now, and. You know, like between that and selling and just all the stuff that we've seemed to manage between us, Helena and I, Mm -hmm. completely disregarding the business or anything like that, just with other stuff. Yeah. We would have taken the edge off it for us a little bit. Um, Yes. You've already got the confidence there. Is that what you mean? No, probably not as much as I – definitely not – actually, definitely not as much as I need. I've still got a long, long way to go. But, yeah, yeah, it's – the confidence thing still doesn't the, it doesn't sort of hit me that hard. Like we weren't really that worried about going gold and then going platinum. Like yeah. it made sense. We did it. Um, obviously, there's a lot more we need to get better at. We need to, you know, really get our ass into gear when it comes to actually getting the nuts and bolts of the business together and really cranking it. I mean, we're getting leads and stuff like that, but um, we wanted to YouTube and that, which we haven't set up. Um, which we just, you know, we keep we keep sort of making the excuse of all this stuff we're doing about moving house and all that, which I think I said it in one of my videos the other day. Um, it actually is a legit excuse, but I just don't want to get into the habit of making them, ex- making excuses. Yeah. It's very hard to balance that, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Because so, life does get in the way, but, it's, oh, it but it's, it's about self-awareness. Is this life getting in the way or is this me getting in the way? Yeah. <laughs> That's tricky. Oh, I get that. <laughs> that never changes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, good. Well, you guys sound like you're on the right track. That's that's no, awesome. Do you have any specific questions for me? Oh. Think of anything? I do. Yes, oh. No. <laughs> oh, I, think it, I think it's an easy one for you. Um, I just okay. want to sort of hear about how you've gone from doing SFM to starting your own business and how that transition mm. to you and what made you take that next step? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll see how articulate I can be. <laughs> That's not very. <laughs> um, You'll be right. <laughs> I, I've, said, I've said this story to someone recently, actually. I'm trying to remember how it went. So I started with the SFM however long ago now, two and a half years or thereabouts, and uh, I felt like I was just treading water for a period. I went straight to black, but I just, I 
I mean, in hindsight now, I was just not in a, um, in a right in space. A, yeah, there was just, uh, it's, I, it was where I had to be at the time, but I was, yeah, my life was a fucking mess, to be honest. <laughs> so I got to a point, though, where I was clear enough that I could really see, you know, I could, I, I grasped the system well enough that I could, um, I could see how I could, I was going to piece it together and it was going to be great, but I had absolutely no marketing budget. My dog's back. And then, um, so that, that was the inspiration. That was me like, okay, I sat down one day and went, well, what have I learned so far? It was, it was, it's quite funny. It was actually in true entrepreneurial spirit. What have I got to sell? Okay. What, you know, what skills do I have? And I did, I just wrote a big list of like what I've been, you know, I've been on the, every bloody training at three o'clock in the morning for a good, probably a more close to a year by then. I must have had something. And, um, and yeah, and there was actually a bit of a group at the time. Um, some of the women in the black group were, were, were thinking like social media management and that sort of stuff. And so we, we ended up getting on a bit of a mastermind and talking about what we could do. And yeah, and then I, <laughs> I'm embarrassed about this now. I ended up just, um, in my small little town here, I just basically walked to the street, did a door knock and was just like, hey, because it's a very small town, like, hey, I'm a local and I can get you set up on social media. And from that main street, I got two clients and I was like, yeah, yeah, thinking I was totally the shit. And then I did it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's going to be so awesome. And like, you guys are going to like, you know, meet your KPIs and blah, blah, blah. And I had all like the jargon and shit. And I totally bummed out. I failed like miserably. They loved me. But I was like, I was just posting on social media. How's that going to get you a client? <laughs> so that was pretty funny. And then I went back to the drawing board. And um because also, so I got those two, but I couldn't, I couldn't seem to move past that anyway, even though they, they were really kind to me. And like I did, I put in the good, quite a bit of time to try and get some momentum. Um, but I couldn't get any more. I was just like, okay, everyone's just shutting doors in my face. And like I was running some ads off my own page locally and it was challenging. And then I, I can't remember whether, how I found out about I just did like a little um, SEO course which was also in hindsight I would not recommend <laughs> but um really <laughs> funny sorry hang on some interesting um, but it gave me enough skills and I met some great people in there actually and it gave me enough skills to be able to rank people in the Google Maps which small and local business owners have a concept of you know, like I was going into businesses or calling businesses or whatever I was doing and saying, social media, blah, blah, blah. And everyone's so behind the times. I don't care about that. And it was a really hard sell. But when I went into them with my phone, like I got the big iPhone Plus and I was like, all right. So if I'm a person coming in, like if I'm new to town, if I'm a tourist and I Google hairdressers, look what comes up. And oh my God, that got their attention. And so... And that was, that was the beginning of some serious momentum. And I, you know, I'm not an SEO expert by any means. I, I mean, it, I guess it depends who you compare yourself to, doesn't it? I definitely wouldn't. I, I can do a fair bit these days, but if, I, if I've got a really serious job, I get help with it as well. Um, but back then, I literally was just like, just doing ad stuff, just... Just even setting up Google business pages and making sure that they had like they had enough photos and enough action so that that you know algorithm picks up that someone's active and then very very basic things that anyone could learn. Um, but it's still a lot there, more than they know. Well, that's right. And do you yeah. know what? Let's talk. Just getting out and talking to people. I went to I went to like the women's networking group locally and stuff like that, and I built a lot of confidence just telling people things and being it were being reflected back that people thought that I was awesome and I was like oh I do know a lot more than they did and like that, I mean that'll be the same for all of you on the call now you know 
there are so many people that literally don't have Facebook pages. You know, like what about the local fish and chip shop? And, and seriously, I have full confidence that you can make a massive difference with social media now. Like I, I started real wobbly, to be honest, those first two. But you really can. And, yeah, most people, most people still have no idea. I reckon like in, this, in my area now, which is small, it's probably still only like a handful of people doing it on their own who are making a difference to their businesses. And so that leaves a lot of businesses that need help. Um, so yeah, so then after getting another handful of clients with my very minor SEO skills, I just, it was just customer service. I just treated them nice and kept, kept educating them on other possibilities. You know, we like maybe we could manage, maybe we could do a promotion on your Facebook page. Like, do you ever do giveaways? Stuff that's not rocket science. And I tell you what, after trying to market the SFM in the niche, you know, the money sort of make niche, trying to, like one of my very first clients was a bottle shop. Like everyone wants to buy alcohol. You do a promo on a bottle shop giving a 50 buck um, gift card away. The whole town was getting tagged in it. It was like, oh crap, I am awesome. <laughs> you don't realise how actually like, you know, it, like it was, it, the results were really speaking for themselves. And there was, I had, um, I still have actually this client who has a, I don't even know what you call it, like a beauty place, like a blue beauty salon. And she, just, just me managing to get her into those, you know, it's a pretty low competition because it's such a small town. There were probably, there's only a handful of hairdresser beauty places in the area. So just me getting her into that top three just like she had to employ someone else because the phones just started ringing and she was like, the phone's ringing. Can, I, can you turn it off? Can you turn it off? <laughs> like, um, I don't think I know how to undo it. <laughs> it really has been this massive just trial and error and, and just continuing to, to notice where you're making it. I've been making a difference. I have, you know, right from, well, right from when I started making a difference, which took a little while, but not very long. Don't let it put you off. Um, and I learned so much. But, but making a little difference like that just gives you the momentum to do it again and to find another way. And, to, you know, and, and none of it's rocket science. If this is what you're interested in and this is what, and you're willing to do some learning, and it's, there's nothing you, I mean, Guy and Elan say this is not all the time. There's nothing you can't Google. Like I still have, and I, I just think this now, like if you're in the tech industry, things are changing so fast. You have to be prepared to be put on the spot. So I'll go and visit with clients now. They'll be like, how do you do this? And I'll be like, literally never done that before. Just let me find out. <laughs> and, and that's normal in the tech industry. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, it's not, like I'm comfortable with that now. I remember the first time that happened, I was running a workshop. And I was like, and everyone go to this page and bloody Facebook had had an update, hadn't they? So that page wasn't even there anymore. <laughs> and it was real, I was like, out. but now I'm at a point where I just, you know, I know. Oh, that changed time, it again. <laughs> every time someone asks me something, something's going to have changed or I'm not even going to have heard what they're talking about, you know, like, and you just go, yeah, let me work that out for you. And, and what they're paying you for is, is working it out for them. So you don't have to be a massive guru. Like you just need to be able to want to put the time and energy in. Does that answer your question? That was quite a rant, wasn't it? No, I did. That was great. Thank you. <laughs> did I miss anything? No, I think you've got to come. <laughs> yeah, cool. There you go then. Yeah, if, you, if that's something that you're interested in doing, I'm happy to have a chat with you another time. Um, it's, yeah, I, there's no reason anyone c couldn't do it at all. I, yeah, yeah, and actually, even yeah, I've I've been kind of mentoring a couple of people in the community, and and um, they have had more like just quicker success, which I guess that's what mentoring is about, isn't it? Where I've been like, oh yeah, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> Don't even go down that road. <laughs> and a lot to do with the sales stuff, which um, which yeah, it's just I've just trialed and errored and done some crazy things. I am. Um, yeah, I've done a lot of, I mean, it doesn't really make sense for a digital marketer, but I've done a lot of networking groups and 
you know, door knocking and cold calling and just, just they got to a point for me where I was just like, do you know what? I have to do whatever it takes right now. And not just to, because I need to make the SFM work, but because I needed to get the hell out of my life you know? <laughs> and, and like get somewhere, get to a solid grounding. And I, I was driven and yeah, and it paid off. And it paid off in a really short amount of time, let's face it. Like, actually, this is a great story. I, um, when I was thinking about doing, like, something before I started the SFM, um, I don't even know if it's in one of my videos. I don't know if you guys follow me. But um, I, I was homeschooling my son, like I was saying to Robbie, and it occurred to me that if he goes back to school, he's going to get his HSC, and I never got mine. And I suddenly got really competitive. I was like, screw you. I'm going to like totes get that before you. Like, oh my God. And sent myself, like, I literally have that with him. I just, I need to be like, and then, so I went back to night school and got my HSC. And then I was like, mm, yeah, see, killed it. Like, <laughs> not at his face. Don't worry. I'm a good parent. But nailed it. Got like a, a heap more confidence. And then everyone in that course was going to uni because that's why you go and get your HSC, right? So I looked at, you know, everything I could possibly imagine myself doing. And it occurred to me the other day that if I had started a course then, I still now would be a poor student. I would still be studying and I wouldn't have been able to work and I'd still be raising these teenagers on bottom dollar, trying to be a, being a struggle, like even still now. Like, and if that make, I say that because so much has happened and my growth has been exponential. And actually, if I had started uni, none of that, none of that would have happened. And, it, and still now, like it's only, it hasn't, hasn't been three years that I've been at this. That is a crazy short amount of time. And, it, and the degree takes about four years or something, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's right. And then yeah. what anyway, you know, like. And then you've got yeah. a student loan to pay off for the next 50 years. Well, <laughs> it actually occurred to me when I was up in Cairns holidaying with my sister, I was like, oh, if I'd chosen to do a marketing degree, I wouldn't have even come to visit you. I would have been too broke. <laughs> it was like, and, and the time, that timeline is, I mean, that's incredible uh, by any comparison that like, yeah, like what I've done, what, what you can do with this education. Anyway, off my short box. Mm. Anyone else got something? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty good realization to have. You have to admit. It's like, hi, Kat. Um, hi. It's like, I'm, a, I'm actually in the business less than a month. Okay, so I'm very oh, new. Cool. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm at elite, but I find it quite interesting what you say because I actually, as you can see, quite quite a bit older. But I actually started uni last year because uh -huh. it was one of the goals I had set myself as a, as a well, basically after school. I actually come from Jersey Channel Islands. And I'm a twin, and I was asked to um, prove that I could live away from the island to go to uni because uni was in mainland England. Oh. And so I decided to travel, and I travelled, and I didn't go back. Oh. So I thought when my daughter started uni, she went to Macquarie. She's actually in Denmark at uni at present. I thought now's my opportunity. So I actually work. I actually work part time, go to uni full time, and then I yeah. saw the ad for this and I've been doing a lot of personal development over the years and following my goals and steps that I want to do so I then mm -hmm. signed off as well so I thought well, now balancing wow. quite a bit but even though I know that there's a hex step at the end of uni I just feel like there's been so much achievement and fulfillment yeah. from it because it's something I'd set my mind to do so long ago and didn't yes. take the opportunity to do it yes and I find it well, interesting look. comparing them yeah yeah and yeah. I mean if that if 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 uni had have been something that I felt like I needed to do or that was the place to, to do my learning, I definitely, you know, it's not knocking uni. It's just, it's just amazing that if, yeah, it's just yeah. the results. Well, I see the like compar the yeah, I, I do see the comparison because I just think like, yeah, the results you're going to get out of this is mm -hmm. obviously going to be yeah, greater than what you're going to get out of uni. But again, yeah. at the end of the day, they can go hand in hand depending on what your end focus is. Absolutely. I think um, I've actually, my son is now in his HSC year, that, that's happening. And when I, uh, we were talking about what he's going to do next year, um, 
it's funny how my thought process has changed where instead of me being lots of his friends' parents are saying things like, Oh, you know, you need to get a good job, you've got da 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 and it's all it's all very there's a lot of pressure and a lot of um just just that mindset of this is how you're gonna sustain yourself and it's very important and fair enough too, because that's the mindset. Mm -hmm. But I'm still encouraging my child to go to uni. I just want him to go because it sounds like really a lot of fun. You know, yeah. like what do you I'm I'm more like, what are you passionate about? Like he wants to he's a dancer, he wants to do professional dancing, he's also into audio yeah. engineering and all sorts of stuff like that. And I'm like, dude, you could be good enough. Like that would be so fun. And like and it's coming from a totally different place. Yeah. And I know I mean he's already making money online on the side anyway. <laughs> money actually doesn't come into yeah. the decision making anymore. It's yeah. like it's that it's just not a piece of the puzzle. But it's, it's yeah. about doing what you're passionate about now. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And knowing that yeah, it's not even do what you're yeah, it's not even do what you're passionate about for money. It's like money's always gonna be there. So what fun can you have? And that's yeah. that's really very different. And he's going to school going, I'm I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, oh, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> just, just run with it. <laughs> well, I just, well, you know, his mind's slow. It, it is opening. He's a pretty smart kid, but it's um, it's pretty funny to watch. His one of his very best friends has got um, very academic parents, and he is on the lines to being a politician. He's very, he's just that. He's the prefect and that, and like telling Hayden to study all the time. <laughs> He's just that child and power to him. Like that's awesome. That's his direction. But but what I I even, I even drop into conversations with him that is so I'm so, you know support him for doing whatever you want to do. Um, but whatever you want to do, you're going to make plenty of money. Like it's not make don't make it about money. And and you can and it, that's he sort of goes oh and he can tell that I know what I'm talking about because <laughs> he yeah. comes to our house and he sees what we do. <laughs> you know, he's like, oh, there's something. I mean, it's great to see that you young people going, oh, I've got options because, yeah. Anyway, I like to do that to young people. Poor buggers, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Awesome. It is good. Yeah. Do you have yeah. any other questions, Angie? Do you? You're very new. You must have. I'm. I'm oh, look, I'm very new. It's a matter. It's a matter of just for me, just going through the modules and working it all out. And and yeah. I, from what I see, a lot more people from what I see have either come in at a much um, higher level. But I said I want to mm. stay at the elite first, learn everything while I'm balancing everything, and then set it all up, and then um, yeah, decide what we're, decide mm. what we're doing. Yeah, there's, there's quite a lot to do that, though. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, I've That's got the goal. The got the um goal set for gold. Um, yeah. yeah. The plan is to be able to eventually be able to go and spend a bit of time in you and a bit of time here. Mm -hmm. But it will be on. I, I won't. I've been mean, like, yeah. I, I sort of admire what you've done. Like I said, I I wouldn't know wouldn't have known what you were up on stage for. That's how new I was. I thought, yeah. When Robbie sent the message out, Cat Smith's here. I thought, well, who's Cat Smith? <laughs> yeah, because I've got haven't sort of really found out who's who yet. Listen to those on yeah on the calls I've put been on. I know who's who, but yeah. So yeah, sorry yeah. about that. Don't know who everyone. No, it's refreshing. But it is it? nice actually to be on a call in Australia rather than like you say, getting up in the morning and listening to something in the morning. It's nice to. Yes, you do have to have a passion. Yeah, that early, don't you? <laughs> well, I'm actually um, usually up and out the door for work by five, so it's sort of like having to fit it in. On I do shift work. So right. it's having to fit it in around the shifts as well. Yeah. So you're off the well, call, you've got to jump, jump out of the call before it's finished, which is always a shame. Yes, it's hard to get off early, isn't it? I used to do that myself. I <laughs> 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 on it all day. Or I, actually, I have no reception at my house. I live really regionally. And I had this problem of I want to listen to that last 20 minutes on my way to work, but I would be connected to the Wi-Fi at home and then up the driveway I'd lose connection and I'd have to log back in again. And, <laughs> 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 Bloody nightmare. Oh, it's totally like, getting it's, like, it's a nice area, though, where you are, even though there's less connection. Oh. I mean, I, I'm fortunate enough to live in an NBN area. Oh, um, yeah, that's handy. Central coast. It's nice, <laughs> but it's NBN and it's quick, so it's good. Yes. Yeah. 
Well, the internet's not bad. It's but it's phone. I don't get any phone coverage yeah. for quite some time. It's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> old school. Yeah. We're kicking it old school. My advice to you is to just be abs- to, to absolutely hold on to enjoying the journey. Really, yeah. um, any bits? Well, this is actually really good advice to everyone and myself. Anything, anything that makes you feel good, just chase after that. If and and in you and amplify it, you know, like every success, everything, um, every every bit of joy that you can that you can have and you can relive and you can um, you can celebrate. Having, I swear, things really shifted for me where I, when I just started. You know, they say be grateful, be grateful, and that's that's part of it for sure. But there's also just like who says there's not? Well, you know, imagine you've only got the the next two weeks, but not the next two weeks. So, oh my gosh, I better knuckle down. But the next two weeks, like, oh well, then if how do I want to live my life? I want to live my my life feeling free and and mm-hmm. open and. And absolutely milk that because the universe knows. I know that sounds totally trippy, but when I really started just chasing, it's like the follow your bliss thing. And I, I've noticed that when I just really started going, well, I love doing this. I'm going to do this all day. This is great. And I wasn't always sitting in front of my computer, believe me. You know, like, and having those moments like I'm at the beach and I get to be oh yeah yeah really go into it because they come thick and fast when you really embrace it it's exciting mm-hmm. yeah like i said it's still all learning so it's it's good it's still all learning though for me it's sort of like trying to work it all out as i go along absolutely the, it's very overwhelming the motion, but it's yeah we'll, we'll yeah. get there we'll keep we'll reaching get, out yeah 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 like robbie and the crew here and pretty awesome oh, they're good Sure, all your eyes are dotted and T's are crossed in the beginning. Hang hey, Robbie. Oh, that's what we specialise in. Get on calls with <laughs> people awesome. to help. Yeah. Get, get on calls to help people out. Yeah, I don't get on as many these days because people don't ask anymore for some reason. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I needed you back then. Cracks. Yeah. Far out. <laughs> How yeah, do I, I link my something with my yeah. something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before you realise that Google can just tell you anyway. Yeah, go, go to Google, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Top tips. <laughs> so then you might get some peace, Robbie. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's quite nice though, isn't it? It's nice doing the connecting because it is, can be quite isolating oh, it when is, you're using this way. And you, yeah. Get, getting to talk to someone online, I think it makes a lot of difference to a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. You talk. You talk to them real, and as opposed to sitting at your screen and going, "How the frick do I do this?" and yeah. dressing your hair out and and yeah, who did we have? I think there was a guy on last. I um, can't remember his name, but he was one. He was battling to figure it out for himself. Mm-hmm. I said, "No, no, just you need help. Just give us a call." Sandra yeah. ended up doing it for him though. Right. He had issues well, think, um, setting up as um, a web or something. I think that um, I think that because there is so much learning in the beginning and and forevermore, but more in the beginning, the overwhelm is yeah. tricky, isn't it? Just yeah. Remembering, and I actually came up against a lot of like um, just like emotional barriers as well. Like I can't learn this, and all these old yucky school feelings and stuff. And, and, you know, I mean, remember how shit's, I was like, oh my God, I can't, I can't focus at all because I was just like terrified of getting things wrong and all of those things that, that you were, yeah, that were taught when we were young people, I reckon, but um, yeah. getting through some, yeah. And, and having someone like yourself to just go, oh, let me just, let me just ease the overwhelm for a sec. No, really just have a chat yeah. Yeah, you're not in it alone. Yeah, that isn't it. It's really important. And I, th- I think that's why this this group is so successful, because it's, yeah, we're here to help people. And um, I find it interesting that you know some of some of the ECFM staff have tried to get groups going in other areas, and they just don't work. Mm. 
it's because of you, your, you guys is, wow, great English, yeah. your commitment to it. Yeah. I reckon your consistency and your commitment to it. But it, take, it takes, it's the people that make the group, you know, yeah. like if, that, if they're trying to assign people in different areas to do that and they're not doing it out of their own, like, love for it, yeah. then it's not going to be consistent, is it? So, yeah, yeah that, is, that is kudos to you guys. I tell you what, it's awesome. Yeah. I don't know if I could show up every week to the same call, to be honest. Like, I mean, I get how it would be really awesome, but I'd get distracted. <laughs> oh, some some days like, I do. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Come on. I haven't scheduled myself properly. <laughs> I, I, it's just it's just a habit. I think in the last four years I've missed two calls. I mean, we've missed two calls. I missed yes, about yeah. I missed about four when I was in China, but um, Megan stepped up for that one. Nice. Because um, in China I didn't have I have no. internet access, but. Um, there's no Google, there's no Facebook, um, no YouTube. So there's you just you just lose your connection. Yeah. You, you can't communicate. And because uh, email was on Google as well, with, oh, with Gmail, cool. didn't get any email either. So not allowed. No. <laughs> yes, I remember that. My my um, parents backpacked through China and we lost them for a few months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they stayed with someone in an apartment where they had like a a secret, like what do you call them, like a dish. Yeah. I think, like, a, a dodgy. So someone had made shift a little dodgy way to contact, and we were like, we all got emails saying, "We're alive, don't worry." <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a long time. Yeah. Funny, isn't it? Gosh. Yeah. I can't, I can't possibly imagine that. Yeah, they, they they do have things like Google and um, YouTube, but it's the Chinese version of it. Yeah, and they've got aren't they really big on We? Is it WeChat? Yeah, WeChat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can even do you can even pay people through WeChat. Yeah, I've heard. I've looked into that a bit actually. Yeah. My kid's dad is on WeChat because he has a Chinese partner, and so the kids are on WeChat to communicate with them. And and I looked in it. I looked into it. It's fascinating. It's yeah. it's a kind of a level up, really, isn't it? Yeah, it I was, mean, not that was, we can use like that properly in this country, but yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, the first first day we were in Shanghai, we went because we were, we stopped in Shanghai on the way through to where we were going. Um, we went out and had a look around Shanghai and ended up in a bar that night. And I said, oh, there was a lot of expats. Uh, in in that area, yeah. I think there's a lot of French people, but they said, "Oh, I think we were having trouble paying." So, oh, have oh, you got yeah. WeChat? WeChat? No. Yeah. Oh, you can pay <laughs> with that. <laughs> they probably they probably knew what they were doing to you, but you yeah. would have had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have. Yeah. That sounds crazy to me. So weird. Yeah. Very cool though. It was interesting. Yeah. It was an experience. I love what technology can do now. Yeah. Technology is amazing. And, yeah, it's, yeah, the ways that it benefits, I don't know. I think, um, yeah, there's a lot of people do. I mean, I live in a really, like, alternative community. And I, and I know there are, there are, there's definitely a group of people surrounding me that are less less inclined to take technology on. And... I just think there's so much, there's so, like, it's just fear. There's so much, um, you, like, if you, if you educate yourself about yeah. it and about, you know, the social media and teenagers and all that stuff, if, if, you, if we're all educated about it, there's not a problem. Yeah. Yeah, it's fear of the unknown, is my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone else have any questions? Who else have we got? got? Lisa. Lisa? Yeah. Well, do you want to unmute yourself and have a chat? Hi, Kat. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. I did see you at Momentum Day, um, and I know that was a big challenge for you to get up on stage, and you awesome. did very, very well. Thank you. Um, Appreciate that. Now, that. now that you've established yourself in your business, do you still find challenges as you're going? Does it get easier to attack the challenges or? 
I, I do. Of course I do. I definitely do. But the challenges, my best way to describe it, I think, is that my challenges feel less from a place of desperation. I think when I was first starting out, I was really anxious and desperate and mostly about money. I, I don't know, there's not enough money talk in the community. Like your feelings about money are so important to look at. So when I started out, I was, yeah, I mean, I was a single parent and I was struggling. And I know I said I went straight to black, but I borrowed that money. <laughs> um, and it was, and it was desperate. It, I feel like, like I was raised with, with parents who were always desperate for money. And so there, I had a lot of, like everything that went right or wrong was like, oh, thank God, or oh my God, I'm going to die. It was all very stressful. And now I have those same problems. I had a, I've got a client who loves to pay me at the very last minute or, or kind of, I feel like he kind of teases me a bit. <laughs> like he goes, oh yeah, do this. And then you don't hear from him. He's just actually a very relaxed character. But I get these emails that saying, oh, what did it say the other day? He, I had a, it's just a little um, pop-up of an email from him after I hadn't heard from him for 10 days. And it, the, the first line was something like, oh, I regret doing this. Or something that made me go, he's just going to tell me to fuck off. I know it. Like, <laughs> and so, and then, of course, I read the email and he said, I, it just, it, you know. He'd been away for 10 days and, you know, everything's brilliant. And so, but instead of me being, like, that would have terrorised me before, whereas now I go, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> it's, I still notice it and then I, it's not such a big deal. So I guess, yeah, I guess the answer is it's just, it's the same challenges. It's exactly the same. It's, it is absolutely that I have, I, I've got some experience. And, and I just have more confidence in myself. Like there are still, um, I guess, yeah, such an interesting thing to like reflect on. <laughs> I think <clears throat> I know now that I can do it. So mm. even if I've blown all my money on my holidays, which I may or may not have done, <laughs> I know that I can just, oh, I've got skills to sell. I'll just sell them. So, so yeah, but my life is full of challenges. I'm a single parent and I've got this going on and that going on and family doing what, you know, like, like that never ends. I think when I was in the beginning, when I was going, oh, the SFM is going to change my life and there's not ever going to be any pain ever again. I, I, there was an element to that. I wouldn't have admitted that at the time, but I was reaching out in hope that it would, like there was some kind of rescuing pattern I had where, and that hasn't happened. But I, I have changed a lot about my life and, and I make a lot of money now. And it seems like that would change everything. And in some ways it has, but as I was saying to Robbie earlier, um, yeah, I'm still, I still am human and the kids still shit me and I still have to spend way too much money on things I don't really want to. And, we have to come back for term time and people are assholes. <laughs> you know? like, life's still life. Yeah. So, so yeah, is that good advice there? People are assholes. Sorry. Um, yeah, there's yeah. always going to be challenges, but they're well, different. You just don't have money challenges anymore. Yeah, although that's not even true. They're just different money challenges. Yeah. I don't think I don't not have money challenges. I um I was having a real panic after when I got back from the holidays. I was like, oh my god, how can I have earned all of this money and have nothing to show for it? <laughs> <laughs> like I was looking, I did my books and I was like, that is so much money. Why have I got like I had like three hundred dollars in the bank? <laughs> like, <what? laughs> like in my mind, a rich person manages to save, <laughs> and and I'm having a great time instead and sp and spending my money on experiences and that doesn't scare me that's the thing like getting back down to like I literally just told myself oh well tomorrow just go down to the beach 
and just scoop some more money out of the ocean. You'll be all right. <laughs> and then like the next day, you know, three people pay their invoices and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, everything's fine. Still have, money is a stressful thing. It's, yeah. it's ridiculous and it doesn't have to be. And oh, this is my latest th thing. The more you actually like pay things with like gratitude and like, yeah, I've changed the way I, I've changed the way recently, the way that I felt about paying for things. Like I love to give my money away now. Like, yes, I, this is so good that I'm paying for this and twice as much comes in. So that's interesting. I used to be the one going, okay, I've got to pay a $200 gas bill. Have, how much money do I exactly have? All right, I've got $600. Okay. All right. And then I would, I would pay it and then I would check my bank account, account again and go, oh, now I've already got 400 Okay. okay what are you like absolute panic stricken about money, like life or death. And it is like, you know, we're taught in our society that money is life or death. It doesn't have to be. Okay. Does that answer your question? I'm such a ranter tonight. I'm getting embarrassed. Yeah, yeah, no, it does. It does. Yeah, it's different. Really? It's different. I still have challenges with technology too, you know? Yeah. You can see now what's going to be on the other side so it's not so daunting. Yeah. Yeah. I think I just I can't express how much everyone needs to celebrate every every small win. It really does yeah, it changes things. And and yeah, technical challenges, oh you name it. I've I do dumb things all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what did I do? I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I can't remember. Oh, God. <laughs> like, you know, and this is the, these are the clients who are paying me a lot of money to do it. And I'm like, oh, my God, what am I doing? And I think it's fine. It's just, yeah, one day at a time. You can, you, like I said before, you, there's no going back. You're just going to keep getting better and better and better. And, yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? Hey, you've, got your, uh, you've got your marketing, uh, your Facebook, sorry, social media business. Yeah. Uh, you, set, you like help people set that up. Is that what you do? Or? Um, I do. My agency now, that it's become in the last few months, um, can handle all digital stuff. So, yeah, I started with a bit of the story about my humble beginnings. Just running pages, setting up pages and running pages. But now, like my my kind of expertise within my agency is more funnel building, and then an SEO is a big part of it. And then um, I, I have focused mostly on Facebook and Instagram, but running like posting obviously, but running traffic. Um, I've got a couple of clients that I do AdWords for, run AdWords campaigns. What else? Um, branding. Branding. I've got, I actually, I do the branding coaching. Obviously, I learnt from the best. Um, but I have um, my own artists that I use to, depending on the client that I'll use. To, so I can, I've got a proper branding package that I can offer now. Um, and I really, I've put that whole team together only in the last, well, it'd be probably six months now. Um, and I and I started doing that because I just literally reached capacity and and <laughs> I just hit overwhelm one day and just went, I just can't, I can't do, it's, it's funny because you can do everything, but if you want to do, at the, you know, at the end of the day, if you really want to be doing each thing well, you need an, ex like, it's sort of like, choose one thing. And do it really well and so yeah and that's how I piece together yeah what is now quite a little functioning agency so and if you're doing it. everything you can't be sitting on the beach no which is the worst part <laughs> <laughs> you don't mean that well Robbie <laughs> sorry what were you saying Grant um currently no but I have actually had some ads in, a, in the production line at the moment. Um, so, yeah, I definitely recommend marketing SFM. I've just been a lazy bitch. <laughs> a little bit distracted. It's so funny. It's so funny how easy it is to run other people's traffic because it's not personal. 
you know what I mean? Like it's no reflection of, of myself there. So it's so easy. And when I do funnels and traffic and fake successes of people, I kick myself. <laughs> I go, what am I doing? Do that for yourself. <laughs> so that's, yeah. Yeah. Try to sit in traffic. It's a really good idea. I'll be uh, doing it soon enough. Because I sort of wonder sometimes, like, obviously not until the day I die, I'm going to be marketing SFM and I just sort of, Mm. Probably the first person I've really seen or spoken to that doesn't do that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, that does something else. So it's sort of good to see how you can integrate other things into the, oh. like, after learning the education. Yeah. Well, the SFM, from, it's just the beginning. It's about, it's about building multiple income streams, isn't it? Yeah. And the SFM is only one income stream. Yeah. Well, a lot yeah, of people absolutely. say to me that, um, like, you know, you try to explain it as an education system and all that. And mm. now all I think about is the affiliate program and just go, so what, you're, you're just selling, pe selling educational products to people so that they can sell educational products and they sort of don't see the, the yeah. uh, productive point of it all. Um, Absolutely. Obviously, obviously, we totally do, but it's, it's hard to um, explain to people like it's you'd be a really good example now okay this is yeah who's, me. who's who's um now running this awesome agency for you know building funnels seo and all that other stuff and she used the education mm. got from the sfm to do that you know? yeah yeah absolutely and and all of that stuff about i mean you can bring all that that uni talk we were having into that you know where um where would I where would I be or or what like financially what have I invested co compared to what I've made and the difference between regular education slash there's so many angles that you could use there in your marketing yeah and it, yeah and even I mean yeah when you come up against those questions in the beginning it's challenging absolutely use me as an example because yeah it's you're right, the, it, that, but that's only because you see the people who are the top affiliate marketers because they're all on the leaderboard all the time. And they're the, you know, they're the leaders because they're doing, and fair enough too, they, they have earned their place. But there are a lot of people who have done what I've done or at least used it as a starting point and then gone, oh, now my mind's open to the digital economy. I'm going to pick bits up from everywhere. There's a lot of education online, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely an education. I put my like my son's done half of it, and yeah, he's got his own little thing going on now too. He, it's brilliant. But what yeah, it, 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 SFM just tends to show you the ones that are promoting SFM. You don't you don't yeah. see the you don't see the ones that are out there um, taking what they've learned and creating their own business online. Well, they kind of move away because they've yeah. learned what they've needed. And now they're yeah. flying. Yeah. So, yeah. but I, I'm sticking around because I've got a lot to do with the platinum, and so, yeah. and I, I just, I, well, I still value the ongoing education as well. I'm more than happy to be the leader, but um, but I'm really passionate about the platinum process, and so having a part in that, and I've made some of some really good friends as well. I yeah, I don't, I definitely don't need to be a part of the community anymore, but um, but it's great. It's just such a great supportive place to be. Uh, but yeah, know, there's I'm definitely only one. Sorry, okay. Yeah, right. um, do you know where and when the platinum events will be this year? Um yeah. I've got the I've got a list. I don't oh, know where I'm supposed to check. <laughs> Where's the planner wedding and honeymoon? Oh, I actually, oh fair enough. I think vague enough ones. I've um I was given a list. Please start record there. No. I was given a list when we were in Brisbane, but it was more, it wasn't not confirmed. So I won't, there's not a guarantee, but I will, I will give you enough of an idea to get around it. Um, let me just find that note. There'll be one in Aussie at the end of the year. That's a given. Yeah. So that'll be, I think that'll be a, Will it be October or November? No, Hang on. I'll end of November, December. Give me one sec. I've got so many notes here. Sorry. No, you're all right. 
But Robert, in November, is that when they do the Momentum Day as well? Yeah, oh. you, you normally have a Platinum event and then followed by the Momentum Day. The first, in Sydney, they had it uh, Momentum, Gold, then Platinum, but since then it's gone Platinum, Momentum Day because they now have Gold events in um, Las Vegas and that's the only place they have them. Um, so the London event will be at the beginning of April and the... I'll just, can I just be that vague because the dates yeah. aren't set? Months so beginning of April. Yeah, okay, cool. And then there'll be one um, in the US or Canada in, at the beginning of June. Um, and then the gold, obviously, yeah, that Vegas, which will be the middle of September. And then November, more, I think they're going to bring them... The Australian event's going to be like more the middle of November rather oh, than it was a bit later this yeah. year, Robbie. Yeah, but previously, yeah. It's, previously it's been the end of November um, yeah. and this year they, they had it later. It was the 10th of, the momentum day was the 10th of December or something, wasn't it? I think there was yeah. a little bit of like, that's a bit of a crazy time of year for people. So they're going to try yeah. and just get back into November. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. That's... Thanks. Yeah. Do you know whereabouts <laughs> in Australia this year? Uh, yeah. no. Yeah. Still, there's still debate as far as I know. Do you know more, Robbie? I don't know. No, I've, I've heard nothing. No. There's, yeah, there's been a lot of fierce debate. <laughs> they want to well, do it somewhere different, but then there's obviously a big call for it to be somewhere easy and central <laughs> as well. <laughs> so, yeah. anyway. I'm sure they'll let us know as soon as they, they can. We'll work on them. Yeah. There's, there was talk. I think Jay was saying when, in Brisbane that he would want to visit New Zealand as well. So that could happen. But, yeah. but I was being the reason. Like most people live on the east coast of Australia, don't they? Yeah. Or was that just being me selfish? I don't know. Um, there's, <laughs> quite do. a lot of, there's quite a lot in um, Perth as well, I think, ECD mm -hmm. members. Yeah, right. Um, and you've, you've got the sun down in Adelaide as well. There's not, many yeah. in, there's not many in Hobart. I'd like to go to Perth, actually. I haven't been to Perth before. But, you know, if we're getting Kiwis to Perth, you're looking at, that's quite extensive, isn't it? Yeah. Is that a big deal? Yeah. Not every, like, that would be a put-off for a lot of people, I'm sure. Yeah, I think that's what that's all about, Momentum Day, and with people that come internationally as well. You, there's not really a lot of direct flights to Perth, so I think that's why they yeah. sort of thought on the eastern side there's a lot more um, direct flights internationally as well. Yes, yeah, there needs to be a major international airport. Like, well, yeah, with direct flights. Perth's not that big, is it? I don't even know. No, I don't know either. <laughs> no, the airport's, not that, the airport's not that big. No, someone, someone in yeah, Perth. I don't think. You're talking about Perth. Yes. Yeah. It's big. Yeah, it's big. Okay. They've just done a whole heap of extensions on it. It's massive. Oh, good. Not as big so as Brisbane. Like, is it like not business? But it's pretty okay. big. It's not a city like Sydney, is it? Excuse. Yeah. I'm actually a Kiwi. Oh no, 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 we yeah. near. Okay, but still. It's, I imagine it to be a bit more there is cool. enough to do. We went to, I was there this year on holiday um, for a wedding. There's big. Yeah, right. there, is, there is enough to do and there's a couple of nice places to go. Um, it really depends on people's yeah. perspectives of it. To me, um, Perth, when I go across to Western Australia, Perth is not a place that I'd base myself. I'd go down the Margaret River. I mean, I would look at those more niche areas, but they're too hard to get to for SFM. Yeah. So need to have, um, but... Yeah, like you say, the flights for New Zealand wouldn't be any good getting there. They'd have to first go to Melbourne or Sydney and then they'd fly on further from there another five hours. Oh, yeah. no, there's, there's direct flights from Perth to Christchurch and Perth to Auckland. Oh, oh that's good. Oh, that's... Okay. Yeah. That's still a long haul. Yeah, an option then. Oh, it is. It is a long haul. Yeah. yeah. That sounds painful to me. That <laughs> 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 but I don't. I don't think it's a lot. There'd be a lot, a lot of difference between flying from Perth to Sydney or Perth to Christchurch. 
time wise, maybe an hour more. Oh, yeah, no, that's true. But for those who have to do both, like if it was yeah. in New Zealand or then you're yeah. pushing it. Yeah. <laughs> for me, anyway. Anywho. I, I reckon Queens, to... Queenstown would be a good place to have it. But... Oh, there'd be so many amazing places to have it. Yeah. Like, we're different every time. Wouldn't that be magical? Yeah. But, you know, but, yeah, <laughs> try not but, to use the word here, but <laughs> we've all got things to work around, don't we? Exactly. But then again, well, if you want to be there, you'll be there. It's true. Yeah. I know it's funny, isn't it? Where, well, whether like, it's yeah. in Perth or whether it's in, in somewhere in New Zealand, if you want to be there, you'll be there. If you don't, well, yeah. Yeah. As yeah. Much, and then... As Martin said to me one day, he says, oh, when they had them in London, people wouldn't drive three hours to, to go to a London event. Yet. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yet we had people flying from all different places around Australia and New Zealand to, to go to a Momentum Day. And yeah. that first one, he was, he was super impressed with the turnout. Awesome. Yeah, we're good over this side, aren't we? Exactly. There's something to be proud of. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think now we're only getting about 85 to London events. And we're and the first yeah. momentum day we had in, in Sydney, we had 85 people turn up. There you he, go. He expected about 30. Whoa. That doesn't surprise me, though. We are pretty awesome. Yeah. And we're also, like, I think, like, generally as a culture over this side of the world, we're more, like, like lateral thinking or something. Yeah. Like, we're more, like, ingenuity, that yeah. kind of stuff. I yeah. reckon that's, that's a piece of it. We just, like, people who are like, right, well, I'm not satisfied with the status quo. Let's make something work. Yeah. There's a lot of more attitude. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, the, I think yeah, the events down here are different as well. I've, I've been to a couple in London and they're just not Have the you? same. Yeah, I went to well, one in London, London. when was it? July? Yeah, the one in, in London in July of last year. I went to that yeah. which is, just wasn't the same. Maybe it was because well, I didn't no. know half the people. but. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what was it that town okay, give us more detail? Was it like dry and boring? <laughs> well, no, the speakers and the stuff were the same, but you know, not the energy. The so we went to the bar afterwards, but half of the SFM staff that turned up to the event weren't there. Whereas when they have them down under, all the most of the SFM staff come out with you for the evening. Oh, really? That's not the same everywhere. No. That's interesting. Yeah, maybe they don't want to... Well, London doesn't... Oh, I don't even know why that would be. I'm they're just, excited to be in Australia because they're so awesome. Maybe, maybe. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I just It's just something I just... You know, because I've been to... Mel I mean, Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, and I went to the one in London, yeah. and I, it's just it just wasn't the same. I, I couldn't put a finger on why it wasn't the same. It just just didn't seem interesting. Yeah, hmm. that'd have been a cultural thing too. Pommies are kind of weird. Yeah, <laughs> I said it. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's a pommy. I give him shit all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah, they are weird, but um, they're super weird. They've got sock tans. What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> stop being cheeky now. Does anyone have any? It's probably almost time to wrap up, isn't it, Robbie? Let me go yeah. to bed. Yeah, if you. But I'm can. happy to answer any anyone bursting at the scenes. If anyone's got any more questions, we'll answer them. Otherwise, we'll call it a night. Mm. Good. Mm. I've ranted mm. enough for everyone's satisfaction. <laughs> Oh, well, you haven't been ranting. It's been good listening to you. We you always love having you on the call. <laughs> Do you know what's so funny? I'm always, my daughter is very chatty, just like this. And when she gets started, I go, oh, God. Like, like you know, my parenting 
super patient. Yeah, I'm so attentive right now. I'm in the moment with you. And then five minutes later, I'm like, oh, my God, is she still going? <laughs> and then I go, just like you, shut up. You have to be patient with you made her like that. <laughs> when I do like this, it just totally reminds me of her. Like, you're all thinking, shut up, cat. God, you're still going. No, anyway, no, definitely not. Better than silence. Better than silence. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. Well, if you're all suitably satisfied, I will bid you good night. Thanks a lot, Kat. Yeah, then, um, lovely to catch you all, we'll catch us all later. Remember, we've got yeah. um, JJ on next week, so you're all welcome to come back next week. Yeah. Oh, Sounds good. Bye, guys. Uh, thank you. If you can keep yourself up that late, Kat. Yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> I'm always happy to answer questions on Facebook too, by the way. You just message me. I'm generally pretty good. Give me 24 hours, hey, Robbie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 24, 48, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> but I, I'll do my very best, which is generally quite good. <laughs> yeah. No worries. All right. Catch us all yeah. later. Thanks. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.